Hello. I don't know. Oh, is it? Does this count as one of the slides? Okay. I had nothing prepared for this slide. <laughs> well, I'll just start anyway. So. Uh, my name is Sean Sterling. My picture is going to appear in a few seconds. Uh, I'm a sysadmin y OPSI kind of guy. Been that way for the last 20 ish years. Uh, I work as a consultant for a company that specializes in cloud transformation. And I, I used to work directly for some large enterprises, and I've since worked for massive enterprises. The company I work for is called Source Group. We have offices in, here in Vancouver, in Kelowna, Sydney, and Singapore. So if you're looking for a change of scenery or you just want to talk about some cool DevOpsy type stuff, come visit us at our booth. This slide was made as a joke by Simon Wardley, but I think it is a pretty accurate depiction of what the State of the Union is for a lot of large enterprises. <laughs> um, the lack of a, a speedy application development cycle is something we're trying to fix. So, we're talking about enterprise problems here. And when I say enterprise, I mean companies with thousands and thousands of employees. The kind of companies where it takes five to 10 actual humans to approve the thing that you want to do before you can do it. And this is never ideal. This is especially true in the change control process. Typically, you're going to send something to a review board, and then some people need to review it and approve it. This also requires lots of humans. <laughs> When you have too many humans involved, it creates a linear process between the amount of applications or services that you can change and the amount of reviews that you can actually do. When you have a linear process like this, it tends not to scale very well. So obviously the solution is to kill all humans. <laughs> but if your organization isn't ready to welcome our new robot overlords, then we try to make it so as few humans touch things as possible. And we do that by automating all the things. When you have hundreds of business units in a large enterprise and they all have to worry about the uh, security and compliance and governance and all the policies that go with it, it becomes really difficult to manage. And we solve this by using what we call opinionated pipelines. Opinionated pipeline takes the opinion of someone like the application team and then merges in the opinions of the security team and the operations team or any other team. And that makes it so you gain the wisdom of all the other teams without having to deep dive into foreign territory. Focus what you're good at. So this makes it so the application team can only worry about their application and not get run over by a giant train of corporate policies. <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> this also makes it so that you can approve the holistic change pattern rather than the individual change. This makes it so that once the change pattern is approved, people can go crazy by running that same pattern over and over and without getting permission to run the same pattern, the same change over and over. As of September 2017, both uh, Google and Amazon are now billing by the second. And Azure is billing by the second for their container service. This is a massive change and allows us to spin up more ephemeral infrastructure. Here we have a typical two-tier application that is uh, across two availability zones and fronted by a load balancer. This is what your garden variety web app kind of looks like, regardless of if, what platform you're in or what language you've written on. With per second billing, this allows us to spin up a copy of the entire infrastructure, not just a single service or app. And that's a fundamental change, because no longer are you testing on something that is similar to your production environment, like on Vagrant or on a, a container somewhere, but you're actually using the same uh, configuration as what's in production. And because it's just DNS, we can just flip DNS and point it at the new version of the infrastructure. And if we detect any problems, we can just point it at the old version without having to do anything particularly fancy. It's just another DNS flip. So the CI-CD pipelines are no longer tools just for your developers. We can now move faster with the opinionated pipeline, but also increase our governance and security posture by using compliance as code. We once had a client come to us and say, uh, we had a client that we went to and we said, we can save you a million dollars a year. And they said to us, not my problem, different department. Granted, this customer's IT budget was measured in the billions, but saving a million dollars should never be ignored. There's a scene in the original Star Wars where Mark Hamill says, I care. You should be like Mark and try to care. When you're in a large organization and somebody comes to you with a problem, try to focus on getting them to the next step rather than getting them to their end solution. So hopefully we've learned some things. Opinionated pipelines are cool. You should kill all the humans. Approve the change pattern, not the change. Uh, Blue-green the entire environment. 
move faster with your security and compliance, be like Mark Hamill, and cool things are going on at large enterprises. Uh, so once again, uh, working for Source Group, we're hiring, or if you just want to chat about some DevOpsy type stuff, come pay us a visit. Thanks.